I didn't grow up wanting to be a priest. That was the last thing I wanted to do. I uh, honestly really wanted to be a pro wrestler growing up. That was kind of my first like dream. I started discerning the call when I was 18. Uh, I started studying at UNLV. I tried to study bio for a short time and I was miserable. <laughs> I was miserable. I was going through school, I was going through motions, but it was for my family. It was for maybe expectations I put on myself. I joined a youth group in high school. I wasn't particularly religious, but the people there were just so joyful. And I really wanted to know what that was like. And the longer I got to know these people, the more I realized it was Jesus Christ. And so I wanted that for my own life and I wanted to be able to share that with other people. I was asked at the Newman Center at UNLV, like, have you ever thought about being a priest? Um, which was never even a consideration, really. I tried to avoid that question for a long time, but it was kind of a lingering feeling even throughout college that this was something that I just needed to go see for myself. And I felt called to serving the people here. Like I wanted to be a priest here. I definitely had a lot of older brothers, mentors in, in my youth group growing up. They definitely challenged me um, to be a man, a Catholic man. And the more I tried to pursue the faith with them, the more it drew me towards the priesthood. Uh, once I entered seminary, uh, I would have to give a lot of credit to Father Ron Zanoni, who was the vocation director at the time. Um, he was just such an important part of my own discernment. Uh, Father Miguel Corral, who's our new vocation director, he was kind of like an older brother to me and the guys when we first entered, he was a deacon. Yeah, I loved uh, seminary. It was a very difficult time, but it was necessary. I, I have no doubt in my mind that it's made me a better man and it's gonna make me a, a good priest. And I think the greatest opportunity while I was there was the gift of being able to recognize my own strengths as well as the self-knowledge of what I need to work on uh, the humility to keep on improving and the desire to kind of grow. If somebody's discerning the priesthood, uh, if they feel like they have a vocation to a uh, religious life, I would definitely just start um, by going to daily mass. I think that's a wonderful devotion to pick up right away. Constantly reminding yourself and being in the presence of God, uh, especially through the sacrament of the Eucharist, um, the second would definitely be to find uh, the local vocation director or to talk to a priest, someone that you trust, that you could just ask questions. If I could choose just one thing to celebrate, it would be hearing confessions, definitely. It's what drew me towards the priesthood. It's what drew me towards my faith. I see a great need for it in our diocese and um, it's just, a, it's something I'm really excited for. Nothing brings me more joy than to be able to finally celebrate with the people that gave me my faith in the first place. And that only came from being in the Archdiocese of Las Vegas. So I'm proud to have grown up here and I'm very excited to be a priest here.